Well, another great example is showing that Disney is the living epitome of failure. They're a physical, essentially they're the physical manifestation of failure in the box office, failure across all fronts. The theme parks failing, the, the uh, movies are bombing at the box office, and as mentioned before, the cruise line's also not doing all that great as well. It says here in this article that the cruise line, says here on Movie Guide, Disney takes another financial hit as cruise loses uh, $325.8 million. Yeah. It's a bunch of insanity. They are, again, the, the uh, manifestation, the, uh, I guess you could say the embodiment of the term failure. How not to run a business. It says in the article, Disney's cruise line had one of the worst years in its 26 year history reporting a uh, reporting a $325.8 million loss for 2022. While Disney Cruise Line's overall revenue increased in 2022, the high demand increased the cost. And over the last few years, Disney has lost millions on their cruise line, reporting a net loss of $255.9 million in 2020 and $629.5 million in 2021. Forbes reported that the cruise line has lost a total of $1.2 billion since the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, despite these major financial losses, the cruise line's directions directors received pay bumps. Their combined salaries come to 2.2 million, which, with the highest paid director taking home 1.4 million. Efforts to increase profits include the addition of three more ships to their collection: new Disney Magic at Sea cruises to Australia and New Zealand, and a Disney Island on Illa Theria in the Bahamas. However, Disney's, cru Disney's cruise line's major financial losses reflect a trend for the entertainment company. Yeah, no kidding. You know, they're losing on all fronts. Losing, now it's the cruise line's failing. Now, you know, movies are bombing at the box, of, uh, bo box office. Sorry. Uh, was it was obviously late last night. Also, you know, Disney Plus losing all kinds of money. Everything, every, every aspect of Disney is basically losing money. Plain and simple. So what happens? You go woke, you go broke. And they still refuse to learn a lesson. And this could, you know, at some point if this keeps up, they may end up going out of business. You never know. But nothing good so far. And it's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Every news that comes from Disney regarding financial aspects is bad. Plain and simple. So anyway, wanted to point that out. If I come off as a bit rusty in this video, took a bit of time off. So, you know, having to get back into the hang of things. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.